Hello everyone, this is your Prashant. Welcome to our channel. This is 30 days Selenium Python automation testing series. In this, every day we are going to post a 5 minutes video. In 30 days, you will become an automation tester. So this is video for fresher who want to join as a tester. This video is for manual tester who want to switch to automation testing. This video is for automation tester to want to upgrade in Python platform. So we started start. So in this course, we are going to study the all the Python basic concept, which is required for a automation tester. In this course, we are going to study all the Selenium web driver concepts and we are going to implement a PyTest, uh, how to run a test cases, those things. And we are going to implement a page object model pattern to implement on various pages in a website. And we are going to create a framework from a scratch with helping of a live project. Okay. So in this Python, why Python? Python is the easiest language to learn in the entire world with the tons of library. This is a next generation language and we are going to study about the data types, operators, loops concepts and we are going to study about the functions, methods, how to call a function, those things and we are going to call a, a user class, objects and various OOPS concepts such as encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance and abstract and we are going to study about the exception handling, how to handle the error in a runtime, those things and we are going to handle the files such as excel files, json files and all various files and we are going to study the data structure concept in the through the collections concept okay next selenium web driver why web driver so web driver is the world's largest automation testing tool in the entire world because it's open source it is a simpler to installation simpler to handle and it supports various os such as linux windows and mac and it supports various languages such as java python javascript and .NET. There's so so many languages so in this we are going to study about the locators what are the locators how to locate a web element how to, how to use a browser command such as navigation like a forward backward those things and how to use the checkbox in a website how to draw, use a drop down in a check in a website and how to wait for a web page to load for a particular element or a particular page and how to move to one page to another page one tab to another tab those things and how to handle alerts pop-up window and how to move to frames those things and we are going to use a javascript here inside the python so we are going to study how to use a javascript in a python and calendars concepts like date selection concepts and we are going to use actions such as mouse actions and keyboard actions in the website and pytest why pytest pytest is the simplest framework in the entire testing world right now java is a test engine cucumber javascript as a mocha dot net as a end testing and as a python testers we have pytest so in this course we are going to study about the pytest concept how to set up a pytest how to execute our test cases and how to group our test cases in the form of modules and how to do a parallel execution in the multi-threading concept and how to use the fixtures to run the sequence of the executions and how to globally reset the configurations in the context file and how to use the parameters in the test data how to use the test data in the single parameter test data multi data uh, test data those things and finally we are going to study about the reporting so these are the things we are going to study in the entire course this course will make sure at least you have a three years of experience like that you will get from this course and uh, share you for this your friends family everything and we will meet on next class uh, subscribe and give your support